Hey, welcome everyone. This video, we're going to be introducing the concept of logic in our program. And logic is actually really cool because it is used to branch in our software to do different things as well as loop. So if we want to do things forever or for a certain number of times, we can do that using logic. Do you need help advancing your coding skills? Check out my new program, Code Breakthrough. Code Breakthrough offers hands-on learning with Python and data structures, algorithms, and interview challenges. With a supportive community and regular new content, Code Breakthrough will help you get hired or advance your career. For a limited time launch special, use the link in the description to get 20% off your subscription. See you there. Now, the basis of logic is something known as the Boolean data type, which has one of two values, either true or false. So we can create a variable such as happy, and we can assign it one of these values. But how do you actually do it? Do you put it in quotes, or is it just a word by itself? Well, it's actually a word by itself, and the first character has to be capitalized. So we would say true. So that is how we create a Boolean literal. This is a Boolean literal of the value true. We could also instead put false. And I am not happy when the phone rings, so I'm gonna leave that at false. I don't know if you guys can hear this, but man, I must be popular today, or that psychopath Claire is on me again, so we're just gonna move on and pretend that's not ringing. So what you can do now is you can print this variable, like so, hit run, and we get false in the terminal. So this is the basis, but we can do more complex things. So we can check things and see if they evaluate to true or false. So let's say, instead of having a false value right here directly, we have some number. Age, and let's just say this person is, we'll just go with my age, 15. And yes, that's true, I started my YouTube channel when I was four and a half. And we're going to print age, greater than 21. So this is an operator, it's a comparison operator, and it's one of the things we can do to check values. And that's going to be used in the if statements we're talking about next, as well as the loops coming up. So run this bad boy, and we get false, because obviously it's not greater than 21. Another one would be less than 21, which would actually return true. So that's what these operators do. They compare values and they return either true or false. So just like we assigned true to age earlier, we could assign an expression like this to a variable and it's going to have the value true or false. So let's see. Let's say we have a variable can drink and we can check it using this expression. Age is greater than 20. And instead of printing this comparison here, we could just print can drink. So at least where I'm from, you're not allowed to drink until you're 21. So the first time I tasted even water was age 21. It was crazy, I was really dehydrated, but somehow we survived. And when we run this, we get false. So let's break this down. Age is 15, it checks to see if age is greater than 20, AKA 21 or higher, and it evaluates to false. That gets assigned to this variable can drink, which we then print the value and get false. Now, wouldn't it be cool if we were making an app for like a wine service to send wines to people and we wanted to ask the person's age and if they are 20 or under, then we say, hey, we're not able to, to service you. However, if your age is 21 or higher or, you know, whatever the age is for their country, then in that situation, we would allow them access to the app. Well, we can do something like that with an if statement. And that's what we're gonna be talking about in the next video. And this is where programming gets a little bit fun. So let's go have some fun finally after like 41 videos of boring. All right, I'll see you then, I'm ready.